What's happening, my beautiful people? My name is Mike LaBelle. Welcome back to The Playbook. Today, in action, we have a new way for you to score corner kicks, and it is easy to execute and super effective. So if you found this helpful, make sure to drop some love. If you're new to the channel, it is free to subscribe. Ah, the goodness is on its way. These examples that you're about to witness had three for corner kicks. Not to say it won't work if you adjust it, but full transparency. I'm calling this the delivery, and we are utilizing and taking advantage of short corners. You're gonna hold R1 in order to get yourself a short option in this type of position. And then we're analyzing. The closer option, I'll put as option one. And then if we gotta do a little bit of a recycle or a drop off, it'll all make sense here. This is what you're looking at. This is what you're analyzing. There's a lot that you can do with corner kicks in particular. In this circumstance, Rebury finds Salah, gets a big first touch, which is going to be important that you attack this end line, and now it changes your targets. And the two main players that you're going to be looking for once you get into this location, it's kind of all in one motion. You put the ball across the pitch, and it ends up being a tap-in. The way that the defenders kind of adjust or they automate, they push outward while you're attacking inward, and you'd be surprised how easy this pass actually ends up being, even if it doesn't look that open. There you go. Players move, you tap it home. About as automatic as they come. You can go with a normal pass, depending on distance. You can also use a driven pass. Both circumstances I've found to have success. Even the double tap, if you want a little bit of a lofty addition. More of the same, Mbappe. This time we're going back to the top of the box. But the target in the game plan does not change. Even though this pass is going this direction, I'm already thinking about finding the next man. It's the same two players here, but now we're going to look for more of a dump off. Understood? There it is. There's your dump off. And then you see the same little spatial gap. And you might not be able to take advantage of this on every single corner kick. Players will catch on to it. But if you do it right once, you've got yourself a goal. So you're turning this way, and then you're going to look to square. There it is. Salah, there's your touch. We now open up option one and option two. Option one will always be the ideal choice. And maybe most importantly, the defender is already beat. You have that angle. You with me? We have enough of an angle to make this work. PK, the unlikely target, is able to convert. I said PK, I think it was actually Allison. Just on a track back. This is the sprint mix-up, if you will. We're going short. Nothing changes there. Ribéry, you see the defending's a little bit different there as well. Always important to see what's happening here. He overplays, but still provides us with an easy option in order to get that recycle. And unlike what you saw previously, because we don't have the dump-off player, he's not in the same position, we're now going to take Mbappe and let him be expressive, and he attacks that same same bit of space defenders are caught off guard they don't counteract there's so much space to work with just look at this this is the money zone Mbappe big first touch one more same situation and it, it's worth saying these players are naturally they're a little more flat-footed they're kind of drifting this way which plays a factor as to the space that's always going to be opened up Mbappe gets across the angle you already can see the bread and butter you're never going to miss from here tap that home so one two three a little triangle of dreams if you will, King Kenny, yes, sir. I thought it'd be nice if we gave you a full cycle. We don't have the short man there just yet. Remember, I told you to call for a second player. You push R1 or you hold R1. Uh, if you do this early, even better. In this case, we're giving you the full remix. It goes to Salah. We're going top of the box. Not a lot of pace on that pass. Either way, he's going to step into space here. And the options do not change in terms of what we're looking for. There's the space step. You see the drop off. You can kind of see the triangle coming together. It looks like this. There's your good money drop off. And you still have that same gap of space that I will keep on repeat because it's important that little gap of space there which gives you the ability to turn and then once you've turned you're looking for the extra layoff could you attack with a skill move potentially but this just keeps on working and we're gonna force it in there and these are the circumstances if you're going to go for these intricate passes this gives you a percentage that makes it more worth it even off an interception or if it bounces back you have a chance to make an instant tackle and then take advantage is that a little bit lucky sure or could it be lucky to a certain degree? Absolutely. freaking lootly But that's part of the game. Put it into these difficult areas. We've already got enough bodies back there. The entire team is defending. In this case, it doesn't matter. It gets dropped off and we tap it home. Shout out to Maldini. One more time. Game plan does not change. Full cycle. Short man. First time pass here. Salah. There's your dump off. Done. Caverts to Maldini. Maldini with the conversion. You don't miss from bread and butter locations on the virtual pitch. Last but not least, and I'm not sure that this is going to be the recommended option. It depends how many players 
you have and who's available we're going with the extended that's what i'm calling it so the startup does not shift again we have that separation we're analyzing potential options these have always been kind of the one two punch you pick your poison but that's where we're heading top of the box you can already see the drop off that has opened up i'm surprised i don't see more people utilizing and taking advantage of this setup because it's so simple you don't need to be a visionary you don't need to be on some extracurriculars it doesn't require high levels of skill in terms of execution or cancellations or just moments of brilliance it, relatively simple you get the drop off there he is and what i wanted to say with this example versus the others is typically we've been aiming for this man that's been your bread and butter and he taps it home we're trying to open him up that's not necessarily open here on the turn maybe you could whip it in there's potential for something here but we've done instead as we pull it back you see the gap we have a new target man that's why i call this the extension or the extended it's a great pick out here from salah we don't have the right personnel and this is how you set up your corner kicks who's taking what what players you have available it can get better or it can get worse this looks like virgil van dyke who is kind of overpowered it's got to be said but he's gonna have to step through this because you need to hit this early if you want to beat those defenders and there's plenty of those defenders or bodies in general to work with first time cross the body gorgeous for a finish but it's just a full cycle i wanted to show you what it could look like on a switch up so you've still got your traditional setup with the drop down menu here there you go into salah if you don't like what you see these are still the three main options so it's a matter of figuring out how to get into this triangle that's best suited it might be easier said than done but in many circumstances it is that simple square or pass across and you're in the money and even in this example i think there was probably enough space for me to force a pass this way we didn't go for that we pulled it back we went across the body and virgil gave us a bit of a highlight full power full blast top corner you love to see it let me know your thoughts if you have any questions i find this to be an easy way to score corner kicks we've made multiple videos on the channel around corner kicks if you have not watched those videos pick them out a different look a different glimpse a different lens plenty of techniques and ideally in a perfect scenario you're going to switch between a few keeps your opponent guessing and instead of scoring maybe one corner kick in a game you can score two you can score three and those types of gaps and margins make a difference especially in the weekend league as per usual i have a lot more content coming out asap asap